YouTubers, as we know, Arnold is already back this weekend for 2023. It feels like yesterday when I was covering this competition. The only difference is that now it has got even more competitive. The standard just keeps getting higher, which is saying something. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you, I actually hate doing prediction videos. One because there is just certain flows and looks which I prefer compared to the judges. But guys, this is a subjective sport, so it's just part of the game. Too I have to try to put my personal biases aside, as there is competitors which I just connect with or who are really nice. And to be honest, it's actually quite hard for me to separate the person from the physique. And three, this is just so unpredictable. Everyone knows bikinis is the most competitive division, but it's who shows up on the day, not during the check-in photos or post-show photos, and who shows up to the standard the judges are looking for at that show. So this predictions video is brought to you by Slim Tum, and if you want to get that snatch waist, go check out the link in the description. The good thing about the Arnold Classic is there are less competitors, only 9 this year as of now. So each competitor does get a better look in than say the Olympia where there are like 50 plus competitors. So if you don't grab the judges attention straight away, it's unlikely you will be in that first call out at Olympia. So onto my predictions, I generally believe that 4 competitors have the potential to take out this show and it's not trying to be snarky to any competitors at all but there are just 4 girls on this list which are on the top top tier, the top of the food chain who are competing at this show and I would be very surprised if one of them didn't win and that's Maureen, Jen, Laura Lee and Ashley Kay because they have either won Olympia before, won Arnold before or have won both. Now on to my top 6 predictions. So in 6th and 5th place I have a toss up between Romina Basualdo from Argentina and Evie Eskandar. So let's start with Romina. She was in that top 10 at Olympia last year and she is very consistent whenever she competes. She's got the balance from the upper to lower body as well as in the front and rear pose. She has the symmetry. She's a veteran of the sport so these big shows don't scare her one bit. I actually love Romina, she's honestly such a nice genuine person as well, which some of you may not know, but she always turns up. Now on to Evie Eskandar. Look, Evie is just a pocket rocket. She has a smaller frame, but she has now fully filled it out with her muscle development and density over the years. So she has sort of come into that window where she's in her prime. She is becoming a bigger threat at these shows. Now what I love about Evie is her saucy posing, it's confident, it's sassy and I love it. She will come in conditioned, she's generally pretty consistent with this. She will come in jacked for her frame and again guys Evie is just such a legend off the stage. Just like Romina she is so lovely to speak to, she is a good person and she always has the time for her fans. I respect this way more than any bikini trophy, it's just a class act. But back to my predictions, on paper you'd have to say Romina is probably the favourite out of these two as she came in the top 10 at Olympia last year and Evie didn't. But my gut sort of tells me this might be the time where Evie moves up those rankings. Oh, it's, it's going to be such a tough one. You also have to think what will the judges want. Evie has that more jacked wow factor, Romina has that more balance, doesn't have a flaw in her physique factor. But gun to my head, Romina 6 and Evie 5. Now in 4th position I have none other than the GOAT Ashley Coltwasser, who as you guys know has already done it all, won Olympia, check, won multiple Olympias, check, won Arnold, check, won most pro shows in the IFBB history out of any division, check. She literally has accomplished everything you can in the bikini division, no one can argue that point and plus she's quirky and fun which is refreshing for a bikini competitor. Again, Ashley is one who could be anywhere from 1st to 5th, but she's competing against the best of the best competitors. Let's not forget that Ashley came 3rd at last year's Olympia, so she has great momentum heading into this show. Let's also not forget that Ashley is misconsistent because she comes in at a minimum 8 out of 10 out of every show she enters. 
She comes in pretty bang on with her conditioning. You might get that odd show where she's a tad off, but it happens when you compete as often as she does. She has incredible glutes, which just pop from both the front and rear pose. I'm actually a really big fan of her six pack. I know they don't typically judge this, but when I see competitors with nothing in their midsection and it's just flat, it makes me feel like something is missing. There's no detail. Now with Ashley, where the other three competitors I'm about to mention probably have the jump on her is the posing section. Ashley has been focusing on finessing her posing a bit and even bringing up her delt a tad more. But that is the reason I've put her in fourth spot. But if she wins the whole thing, I would not be surprised either. Now in third spot, I have none other than Laura Lee Chapados. So if you rewind to the first half of last year, Laura Lee was unstoppable. She won almost every show she entered. She even won the Arnold. At the mid-year point, she was odds-on favourite to win the 2022 Bikini Olympia. She was literally destroying every show she entered, except for one, and that was the Olympia. She just misfired at the O, and I don't think too many people saw this coming, especially with the momentum she had coming into the biggest show of the year. Her confidence wasn't there in her posing, and Laura Lee is a top-notch poser, guys. We all know this. She just looked off at this show. Her muscles were a bit flat. Her routine looked rushed. Like if it was another competitor, I would think that the nerves of the biggest show of the year just got to her. But this is not just another competitor. This is Laura Lee, who has been on these big stages many times before and has always performed. Honestly, I just think it was a misfire. Maybe the peak didn't go to plan before the show or something. You could just see she wasn't her usually composed self. But let's fast forward back to 2023 and New Year blank canvas. Laura Lee can easily take out this show. I have no doubts about that. But I also have to factor in Olympia placings and that's why I have put her in third. Now Laura Lee is a fan favourite. She has the most infamous glutes in bikini. I mean she just kills any rear shot. She has downsized her body over the last year or so to keep to the current standards of bikini. Which is a shame because I just love the jacked Laura Lee look which she brought into that Chicago Pro Show. Whenever it was. Yes I understand it is pushing the boundaries of the sport but I think it's just complemented her structure so well. The only real check-in photo I can see is when she did an interview with J.M. Mannion. So this is 10 days out and she looks like bigger and more developed than at Olympia. So my gut tells me she's going to be coming in more jacked at this show. Only time will tell but I'm excited either way. So finally guys we get to the final two competitors who I think one of these two will take out the 2023 Arnold Classic and come on guys you already know who I'm about to mention. It's none other than your reigning 2022 Olympia champion Maureen Blankisco and your 2021 Olympia champion Jennifer Dory. I think half of us will buy this paper for you just to watch these two go head to head again because it's just so exciting and it was probably the closest Olympia in bikini I've seen in my lifetime. So let's kick things off with Jen Dory. After she won the Olympia back in 2021, she didn't compete at any more shows until the big show came around and that was the 2022 Olympia. Now when I saw Jed Dory at Olympia, my jaw dropped. It was honestly one of the most iconic physiques I have seen of all time and I 100% mean that. It might just even be my all time favourite. She was leaner than her previous year, she had more muscle refinement, it was just development in all the right places. Her waist even appeared to look smaller from the previous year. It was absolutely snatched. Slim time ambassador, what more do I need to say? It was such a beautiful silhouette with all these insane little details. It was just a masterpiece package. Now what some of you may not know is Jenny is one of the kindest and friendliest competitors out there. She is so so humble you actually have no idea. Like in all honesty I have not heard anyone say anything but glowing praises about her as a human. She's such a great ambassador for the sport. She's an amazing role model for these younger competitors. Any amateurs out there listening, these traits and how you hold yourself and treat others are way more important and will leave an even bigger legacy than any trophy will. Let me tell you that. So on to Maureen now. Wow, what a 2022 she had. She took home the biggest title of the year, Olympia, and is now officially anointed into the all-star tier of the bikini division of all time. We are talking names like Angelica Teixeira and Janet Leoc. I have always believed Maureen was going to be an Olympia champion one day, but in all honesty, I didn't think it would happen so fast. 
In my head, I was thinking probably 2023 or 2024. I think I heard her as number three in my predictions for the Olympia last year. But boy, oh boy, did she blow everyone away when she stepped onto that Olympia stage. I would say that Olympia was her most complete package to date. She had all that tiny little detail, that finesse in her muscles. She came in with the perfect amount of conditioning where everything was tight, but there was no insane striations or anything. Her glutes were popping. Everyone knows she is one of the most balanced and symmetrical competitors on the stage. It was just nuts. Oh, and I almost forgot, she just rocked that glorious pink suit, which no one saw coming. It was such a beautiful shape, which just commanded your attention. Not to mention her posing just gives off boss lady vibes, and I absolutely love that. Just like Jan, this will go down as one of the most iconic physiques in bikini history. But I'm not going to lie, I actually prefer her in the red suit, my own personal opinion. Now what some of you don't know about Maureen was that she was one of the first bikini pros to ever follow me back on Instagram and actually reach out and engage in conversations. She is so down to earth. She wouldn't care if you had 1 million followers or 20 followers. She would treat you the same either way. That's what I love about Maureen. She's just so real and relatable. She's humble. She's so approachable and caring. And she really puts that extra effort into all her fans. I honestly couldn't hold her to a higher pedestal. Like I might sound crazy, but you know the song or film clip Glamorous by Fergie? where it's just like she came from these humble roots to a boss lady on top of the world. But this is still just the same genuine person she's always been. That right there is Maureen Blankisco to me. Guys, I really can't split this one on who I think will win this show. I think it's a real 50-50 flip of the coin, but I do believe it will be between Jen or Maureen. I have two thought processes about it. Maureen is your reigning Olympia champion, so she's a favorite on paper. She's already the standard. My second thought process goes, well, Maureen won Olympia, but she can't take too much risk or make too many dramatic changes from the O, which actually might put Jen in a better position because she has nothing to lose because she can take the risk to make more changes for this show. And her feedback from the judges at Olympia was to come in with the same level of conditioning, just slightly fuller. So my head says Maureen, but my gut says Jen wins it. Let's see which one is right. Guys, if you want that snatch waist, head over to Slim Time and use my code Bikini Nation. And let me know your predictions in the comments down below. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I hope you're all safe and well. Over and out from Bikini Nation.